a little while. Putting a Fulminator Mage under an Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Uh, you know, putting, making every creature with a plus one counter able to sacrifice itself and blow up an opposing land. I've been spending a while working on the list. Um, for a long time, I was really dedicated to the uh, thought of having four main deck Fulminator Mages, four main deck Unearths. Um, but, and like, you know, to really, really be in on the land destruction plan. Surprise, surprise. Uh, that dynamic is just not a particularly competitive formula I found in my, my testing in the world of like Murktide and Ren and Six decks. It's just, it's just not something that I found to be particularly consistent, especially when you're on the draw as a, a good way to attack your opponents. I did find that a Fulminator Mage as a tutor target in a Cauldron deck is really fucking good. Uh, as a single tutor target, this is, I think, a much... It, it just it just fits your deck's plan a lot better to have it just be a one-of, to be able to tutor it up with your four Fauna Shamans or sometimes your Fiend Artisans, to be able to get Tyvor, to play Tyvor to get back your Fauna Shamans to get full the, the, the main thing is that this is not like a super fast destroy all your lands plan since, like, you know, it already requires creature in play plus cauldron plus mage in the yard. It's a lot of pieces. I think it's good for you to, like... Play your game of magic, then lock your opponent out with the Fulminator Mage plan. And then in some matchups where, like, the plan is really good, you get to board into the full four copies. Like Tron and Titan, you get to board into the full four copies, and that's awesome. Um, but I think just I think just being able to effectively tutor it up it has, like, it's lowered the mana curve, and it's just, you know, just done so much. And so, there's there are a lot of different shells to kind of play this build in. Um, obviously, like... One, one big thing has always just been, like, when we're playing these, like, cauldron builds, like, can we can we give the deck a reason to be this deck instead of instead of Yawgmoth? And I kind of circled back to this Fauna Shaman Asmo shell that we trophied with a couple times back in the day, this build of, like, Tybar, Fauna Shaman, Asmo. Um, and I think this was, like, an exciting addition for, for Cauldron for a few different reasons. One, like, Fauna Shaman is not a modern staple by any means, but it's actually very good in this deck. Um, we've choked with it a couple times in the past. One, you have, uh, four Oval Chase Stare Devil, four Blood Gas to discard for really good value to your Fauna Shaman. You get to discard these, slap them in the graveyard, and then they're going to continue to be relevant game pieces. Um, and what's, what's Fauna Shaman is much, much, much better always when you have Asmo in your deck. When you can go just discard any creature, get an Asmo. That's that's like the floor for your Fauna Shaman. Um, that is a really, really, really nice asset. Um, and then, of course, with all these activated abilities from your Asmo, from your Fauna Shaman, um, and then you have, you have a few more with like little kind of bullet. Two to targets of Fulminator, Grist, Hierarch, uh, two Fiend Artisans. Like, you get to, um, your cauldrons become, like, very good game pieces as well. And specifically, I'm excited about cauldron alongside Bloodgast. Um, with Fulminator especially, just being able to sack this, you know, turn after turn. I think that that's pretty exciting. But, you know, giving this, giving Bloodgast relevant activated abilities seems, uh, or has been very exciting, I think. Um, same thing with Stitcher Supplier. This is a card that kind of has... A pretty low floor when you're not milling over a relevant creature or something, but in, in this deck, um, it is going to be cauldron eventually to get some value. It is also like you know grows your fiend artisans, can be sacked the fiend artisan. So, supplier ends up being a, a you know a better card in the shell too. I think. Um, let's see, there's one more thing I wanted to to say. So again, I just want to I have one. I wanted to play either twenty. I wanted to play twenty two lands, but I decided to play one ignoble hierarch. So like. Sometimes you're going to have, like, Tyvar plus Cauldron plus a Hierarch, and then, like, your things can, like, tap for mana, sack the Fulminator, in theory. I, I, I think this is maybe better than 22nd land. Could play, um, could play Dryad Arbor instead, but we only have four fetches. Could play more fetches. Your mana base is more painful. Dryad Arbor kind of sucks. Um, uh, but being able to give your creatures the ability to tap for mana is kind of interesting. Uh, and again, I, I think, I, we've seen a few deck techs for this kind of idea, and it's just so tempting to be like, alright brother, I'm gonna have 12 3 drops, and you can't stop me. But I think it makes, to me, more sense to be like, okay, I'm gonna board into Fulminators, the matchups where these are good, I'm gonna board into the Grist, and the matchups where, the, where these are good, and I will accept that neither are good in, uh, every matchup, and so I can just board them in when they are good. Okay. Uh, for Delta with the 29 months, thank you, Andrew with the 20. We get some Blood Crypts. And the Ragavan, well, Supplier can hopefully block the Ragavan here. 
Maybe I'll get a basic swamp. Maybe we'll mill over a blood gas or a daredevil. Nope, nothing really relevant, unfortunately. Maybe, uh, maybe when this dies. I think we're losing that Tyvar. <laughs> League of Riders of the Mark. Yeah, I saw. I was seeing Riders of the Mark. I saw this on Twitter last night. I was like, hmm, I kind of wish that was legal and modern. And then I saw someone tweeting later, this is going to be legal and modern. Not out yet, but this this uh, winter. Seven mana costs one less for each human you control. Trample haste seven four. At the beginning of your instep, if Riders attack this turn, return it to your hand. If you do, make a one one soldiers equal to his toughness. So. This is definitely like a win more card. Uh, this is a card that is going to be really good when you are ahead and curving out and horrible top deck, horrible when you have nothing going on. Um, I don't think we're attacking. So there, there's, there's certainly that dynamic at play here. It's very powerful, though. It's very powerful. So, like, in theory, if you have three humans, I think, and you play this for four mana, it's pretty absurd. So, occasionally, you'll play it for less. Um, it One one really tough thing is that this is a card that doesn't work with Aether Vial, but in some ways kind of wants you to be, like, curving out with Aether Vial so you can kind of cheat the number of humans you actually put into play. Man, we've milled nine cards. We haven't milled a Bloodgast or a uh, Oval Chase. It kind of stinks. I think I will discard a card here, though, so that I could protect a um, construct from a lightning bolt here. And they're they're just actually a straight up, just straight up. Uh, all right, goodbye, Ragavan. You're you're not doing nothing for me this game, brother. I'll tell you what. Get out of here. I do not love you anymore, monkey. Winota. Um, yeah, it could be. I mean, Winota is a very very good card, and yeah, you could play it in a Winota show. Okay, come on, blood gas supply or oval chase. None. Not in the not in twelve mils, unfortunately. Oh, and I build my forest. So I guess we're gonna get the overground tomb here. If I tested what the deck building restrictions requirements end up being for culture and like what's the floor number of exile targets. I haven't really found the floor because basically all but, but like culture is so good and like you just get to pay, play with all good cards like. You mostly want to be mostly built around it. There's, there, I haven't really found a situation where you're wanting to be like, ah, I'm just going to be kind of a cauldron deck. Like cauldron, cauldron has pretty severe deck building requirements. You're most, you're going to be pretty all in on it. I think, I think the mono white Helia deck is probably like the least in on it. You can be, while still being, still, you know, still having like, you, know, you have like eight cards that aren't cauldron cards. You can Aether Vile if you're in top deck mode. You're not getting Aether Vile to 7, realistically, in any game of Modern. This is this is silly. <laughs> this is a silly comment. Maybe if you're maybe if you're playing Power Conduit. Yeah, maybe if you're built different, huh? Yeah, yeah, with with Power Conduit, sure. So I have actually built Power Conduit Humans, so maybe we'll, maybe we'll, uh, I haven't played it, but maybe we'll, uh, finally get it to work. Tried Asmodeus, Archfiend as a one of, three mana gel seven. I would probably just play Gristlebrand instead. Um, deck maybe should have Gristlebrand. I, I was kind of thinking about it. I, overall, I'm not sure. I don't like Asmodeus, like, I would rather just space, I would spend seven life over three mana, you know. But I also don't really feel like this deck uses... Okay, so I can get Springleaf Drum here. It's still in the deck. I don't feel like this is a deck that uses the... Like, seven cards particularly well, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, I do think I'm going to attack... Yeah, no Asmo. Are, are those, those are really some like bad mills, dude. But it's okay. The Fauna Shaman the Yard. Mostly hoping to, you know, solo them with the sagas. Just do this now, I think. Oh wait, sorry. I needed to hold this up just to stop them from scamming Fury. 
Oops. They think about think to think about tweaking Reed's bands list. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, people have been asking for it for a, a lot, but I think Reed's list is really good. Like I like I would I would like maybe not play the Burktide. I <laughs> um I would maybe pl I was thinking maybe I'll play Temporal Trespass over Murktide. but um. I didn't. I did. I. I did. I. I did look at it a lot, of course, and I. I did not particularly feel like there was a lot to change, so I didn't uh, end up changing anything. Okay, so let's discard Bloodgast. I have seen some new eggs lists with Beseech. Yeah. Um. I'll go for Grist. Let's go for Asmodee this turn. I ha I have seen uh, seen some lists. Yeah, they look they look pretty interesting. Um, I was thinking about taking a, a crack at them for, you know, no pun intended. Mono black with his cauldron rotting register. I called it rotting register is not like close to a modern playable cards. No. Playing exit brings light before besiege. Yeah, I mean besiege I think is a lot better. Like you don't really care about the sacrifice at all, unless mana. Okay, we're gonna kill that. Obnix Ballista Cauldron Combo Dex. I saw Dak Faden post something like that this morning. I didn't um I didn't get a great look at it. Okay, let's just see if this happens. If they have a dying card, we can cauldron it. Then I guess we might as well target here since we don't have another activated ability to give. Tiber is interesting. Let's just play that minus. Yeah, you know, if Obnix is supposed to just win. Yeah, I I get that. Um doesn't sound very good honestly, but like I could be missing something about that dynamic, maybe. Uh, we just want to build a bit more, maybe. Okay, they can see it. Cool. When you get one against Scam, although their draw was, you know, not super impressive. It's kind of what I mean, too. Like, Fulminator, like the Fulminator plan is just not good in this matchup, so. Like, the fact that we're not as it on it gives us a much better chance to win. I'm going to cut the... Well, I guess they, I, would need, I need Haywire Might for Ley Line. This is a lesson I've been learning a bit lately. Uh, I feel okay to cut the, the High Arc. Um, would be okay to probably cut Fourth Supplier. Don't think I need to bring in a, a Nile Spell Bomb. That loses the deck a little bit. Could maybe keep a High Arc or a Supplier in over, like, Tyvar 4. Let's just do this. Yeah, Cauldron's been great. Alex the Seventh, take a thank you. Like, like, what, what is the Obnixilis Ballista deck doing better than like the Heliod deck? You know what I mean? That, that would be my big question. I, I, it is really cool that that deck is doing like so much brewing every day. Definitely very impressed. Let me just let me look at the list again. There might be an answer to that question. Okay, so, so if you Ob Ballista here. I guess, like, you don't have to, you know, not spending mana on Heliod is nice. Heliod is indestructible, which is really nice. You don't have to spend mana on Heliod if you go on a Solitude. Neonate is cool. Early game is worse. Not playing any Oval Chases for Asmo is kind of tough sometimes. Um, I think Four Cauldrons is definitely right in the mono blue list. I think that this deck is... It's kind of close between three and four. Ended up wanting to play four today. I could see could see maybe three being correct. Another day, another another turn one grief. Lose goat the seventeenth or sixteenth. Thank you, thank you. Is that Obnix list and Cauldron Ballista infinite combo? Yeah, it, it is an infinite combo if you turn your Ob into a Ballista. It's cool. It's cool. It's um could be good. Cauldron decks would be interesting with Omen Hawker? Maybe. Not dead after. Um, yeah, Tread, I actually ended up cutting the, the last version of Sweet Yeah, so I, I don't know if you just like watched it on YouTube or something. The last version of Sweet Revenge was playing No Rings. It was playing um, 
experimental confectioner and mini partings. I don't know if you saw the mini partings, but man, Asma would have been so nice were there still a cookbook in the hand. Uh, yeah, but I you could you could still play rings. You don't really you really don't have to though. Okay, not into a two drop at least. They do have a relic, which is pretty dang good here. Uh, cookbook is my best draw. Okay, well, I mean, this is kind of the dynamic. You draw your best card against Gam, and you can get out of it. Yeah, the confectioners were really good. I, th I think I think that there was also like there's a little bit more maybe than just rings for confectioners, but you can find the list in the Mox field. As always. One of Sir Ginger. I will never recommend playing Sir Ginger. <laughs> but, you know, you can do whatever the hell you want. Uh, get in with three months. Thank you. Welcome back. Maybe never say never. Cauldron plus Mirror Welder. Let me read Mirror Welder. Poet says, Wow! Wow! A good top deck. Shut up. <laughs> Let me have something, Scam Player. Wow! Good job! <laughs> That's kind of like a cauldron. Wow! Wow! Shut up! <laughs> if you want to go tie bar so I can have a creature to kill this with Gross next turn. Hopefully, right, we got a hit. We can bring a supplier or fiend artisan. Go for the artisan. Guinea with the five pack. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Oh, should have maybe done this main phase. Not that, that matters a lot. Wow! 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 wow. <laughs> I'm so over this. I'm so over it. <laughs> wow! You could like you could like play a spell here, dude. That's crazy. Man, the land would be pretty good, huh? You do get to gain three life here. Usually I just like, I just like scan my grief and then my opponents are dead. I don't, I, I don't usually even see them play a good spell in a game. That's crazy. Okay, land is really good. I can bring my blood guest back, cast Asmo. I can also just draw an Asmo. Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> so I save one cookbook maybe to maybe make the Finarsen four four. Scam players may have to try to give up edge. Yeah, I know. I don't no, I don't know. This this is always bullshit. When you're like when your opponent draws well, I'm like, wow, you drew well. After like like give give, give me don't, don't talk to me when you're <laughs> grief relic mooning me, you know? I just I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear about my good top decks. Yeah, I think we do dump the Grist, actually. It's better for Cauldron, too. Shock with the 26. Thank you, thank you. Another Grist. They don't have a two-turn clock. I don't think I'm going to do anything yet. Get in with the 5. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. 
you be grief. I mean, the game is just not over, but like, I don't know. I I did draw pretty pretty dang well. You know what I mean? Dump a gris so that fiend is lethal. They, they're on a two-turn clock if I dump this Grist or not. What am I missing? Maybe maybe I should have just killed both here. I think I'm okay. No, we we can just dump Daredevil. We can we don't we this is not a, a mandatory ability. Lucas with the eight months, thank you. If you're doing well today. This game ever be a beanstalk? Probably like one of these two cards here. If I had to guess. Okay, so we can go for lethal, seems fine. What does everyone hate on Scam? It's a skillful deck that requires a ton of knowledge and expertise pilot effectively. I bet you tell your opponents, hmm, I, this is skill, I'm skillfully dismantling you here. People don't like Scam because it's unfun to play against and it's, it's, it's old. We're not, we're not having fun. We're not having fun is why. I, <laughs> every, every modern deck is skillful, you know, <laughs> let's not, you know, let's not jerk ourselves off too much. It, Hmm, I, you know, don't be upset. I've gone grief into Voidwalker three games in a row. Skill. I'm skilling you here. <laughs> Who cares if it's skillful? It's not fucking fun, dude. That was such a percent trolling? I see. Well, good. I mean, honestly, you're just, you're just generating content. <laughs> just generating content. <laughs> Uh, I'm just so, I'm just so, I mean, I, I know we won, but like, maybe it was just yesterday getting beat up by it so bad. Hard to keep a hand just because we have a shaman. Let's go ahead and go to five. Yeah, hands I think a good amount better. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Thought I'd already put back supplier here. I think I'm gonna lead on cookbook. Could be correct to um, to lead on supplier to try to get this out of bolt range. But we'd have to get we'd have to hit pretty well, and then we can already protect this from a Renin Six or Boatmaster with his hand. Interesting. I'm gonna discard my Daredevil, but not return it, so that if my opponent has Renin Six, they can't kill my Artisan. They have binding, a little bit dismantled here. Any blood ghasts? Nope. Priest didn't work. Well, we, we've trophied with priests in the shell in the past. I, you know, I mostly just decided not to include it here. Okay, we're dead. Um. You can include it if you think it's correct. I, I'm a little less less sure. Yes, this this is a matchup that I was not sure on like how many um, how many fulminators and gris I wanted to play post board. I kind of wanted to try like more full like a bunch of fulminators on the play. Like maybe we could even try the full four like two grist. Second might is something I'm interested in. I think we can cut a oval chase daredevil. Maybe we go down on suppliers. A little bit awkward against the exile based removal. Artisan is kind of clunky too. Trim a tie bar for mana curve and trim an artisan. This. Yeah, we, we did play the confectioner deck on stream. It was like all day, one day last week, I think. 
What would be a fun deck to play the modern? I tried Prowse, lose horribly with Everdim. I've tried Burgtide, it's kind of boring after a while. Well, that's the thing, is like fun is very subjective, right? Like, what's fun to me, what's fun to, you know, other people might not be fun to you. You have to figure it out for yourself, I think. Like me, I've been having the most fun with the mono blue list lately. Just a lot of stuff. Mm, all right, let's hope the top of our library is kind to us. We don't want Gris first four color. We, we've got mana curve considerations here. We did, I boarded in one extra and I, I'm planning to bring in the full four on the draw and play less Fulminators on the draw. I do like when people go, we don't want Gris first four color to control the board and pressure with a wide board. Like, <laughs> you make that's a good that's a good sales pitch, but um, we got mana curve considerations to think about, and I, I want to try to I want to just try the Fulminator plan on the play. Mm. So if I. Cauldron this turn, I can kill the Renin Six, but I don't get to make a token. Seems okay. Usually, ask for reason, not suggestion. I was going, yeah, it's okay. I'm just, I'm just kind of teasing a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's okay. I just the sales pitch is always kind of funny. I do think the current builds of four color are pretty good at just ignoring the Grist for a while, for what it's worth. Guess I'm kind of okay with that. I can get both uh, tokens. Certainly have built the deck where you got to be somewhat comfortable just minusing in these kind of spots. Even hitting a Fulminator is kind of nice because we have the Cauldron. But it's maybe reading this. Okay, do I want Fauna Shaman or Asthma? I think I want Fauna Shaman. I can even activate it now because I've got the Haywire Might. Although if I if I... If I could successfully Cauldron... Oh, no, so this, I would have to tap this. Never mind. But I want to Cauldron Asmo anyways. What are they solituding? They didn't wait for me to target with the Cauldron. So they're targeting the Fauna Shaman, so I get to go... Activate. Grab, the, grab Fulminator, I guess. Yeah, best believe... So this becomes an Asmo. Kill the Halfling. Also, did I accidentally say no to this? Seems like I did. That's cool. I think that I think the Heliod deck I've been playing is pretty good against uh, the Scam. I think that Scales is very good against Scam. Got some good options. Hmm. So we do have a Haywire Might. Got a lot of options here. I like that draw. Let's kill the Teferi. Untap the Might. Cast the Supplier. Mill a Fulminator Mage. It's kind of interesting. We're doing it. Any blood ghasts? Okay, not quite that lucky. Your turn. You discarded with Fauna Shaman, no artifact was generated. Oh, right. <laughs> they have a pending for my cauldron. Okay, that's pretty good.
So we get our Daredevil back. Get another Might, maybe. Don't hate that. Might's pretty, might's, might's pretty good against them. Milled over a Bloodgast. Any chance we just want to minus the Tybar now to get an Asmo? I think we have plus. Start off with a minus. Here's a Fauna Shaman. Shaman's pretty nice. I just play Grist instead, though. Uh, we are 17 and 6 at the moment with the mono blue list. Not, ca not counting one match where we won the mirror. They're playing. Verdict, I guess. Okay. It's pretty fine. They have one blood gas? They only have one blood gas. No land yet. There we go. So it's plus first year we milled another one here. Not quite that lucky. So they're dead to the Grist ultimate, they're dead to me attacking. Got one card in their hand. Hard casting Daredevil. A single Loam reasonable to recurse Sagas. I don't know, recurring Saga with Loam is so man intensive. It's. I, I wouldn't be super excited about it. Okay, well, Verdict does not save them here. Wonder if there's anything that does. Maybe uh, Omnath into like binding the Grist. They do go for Omnath. Two cards in their hand. They don't have perfects, so we go to game three. Yeah, so on the draw, the Fulminator plan is going to be. Garbo, or much worse. We'll keep one in. We want to bring in the needle. Get the Hayek on the draw. Yeah, do, never never play Karn the Great Creator in a deck like the Mono Blue deck. Like, Karn is just not good when you're just, Tur on turn four, I'm going to tap four mana, I'm going to cast Karn the Great Creator, brother. You got to, you, oh, you, got, you have anything? Oh, damn. You have any creatures on board? Fuck. <laughs> Uh, this hand's kind of close. I think we'll keep it on the draw. What's on a mold of six? Loma Sage, you could be Plan Z. Yeah, I don't know. It's just just hard to get super excited about it. Like, Ren and Six recurring that stuff for zero mana is... Like, it's already mana intensive to, like, recur Loam, to recur Song with Ren, which is zero mana to recur. With Loam, it's two, two extra mana so much. Obviously, you get some extra value, like, judging over Blood Gas and stuff, but... Again, hard hard to get excited about it. Um, yeah, let's hold the might. Okay. Top of our library, not super kind to us so far. You find generally the counters from college is enough to enable? Yeah. You, you always have an enabler for cauldron. Cauldron. <laughs> Obviously, like, it's it, if you have incidental counters, it's nice, but you don't... It is not mandatory to have uh, uh, creatures with counters on them in your cauldron decks. Seems like both players' draws kind of kind of anemic at the moment.
Really have drawn nothing. Just lands, right? But my opponent's straw is pretty bad too, so we'll take it. Okay, interesting. Haywire Might, Asmo, Blood Gas, pretty dang good. I love Tyvar, Tyvar is so sick. The Sage is my cauldron. I think I want to get rid of their besage you more than I want to put a counter on something here. Not by a lot for, for whatever that's worth, but by a little bit, I think. So you have one card left in their hand, then it's just a wince of teeth. Blood guys coming back. Asma coming back. Still got a tie burn play. We're ahead for sure. Wow, super good draw. Yes, yeah, so we want to we plus the Grist first, just in case we hit a Blood Gas. May impact our decision. Hitting a Fiend Artisan is pretty good here. And I think I hold the Cookbook in hand to discard to the other Cookbook, potentially. Milling Oval Chief's Daredevil would have been relevant too. Yeah, God the Shred is kind of weird to see. I like that they're working on the mana base though. Playing more into Flash Fires. <laughs> Which Golgari Planeswalkers I do like more Grist or Tyvar. I mean, Grist is like a really special design, I think. It's just like so unique. Um, I'd like to keep my Tyvar into play here. If I just minus Ty, if I keep Tyvar in play, then minus next turn, I, I get to activate the Fiend Artisan immediately if I want. So it doesn't seem like I need to cash it in now. I kind of like the idea of cashing in Cookbook for Haywire Might, playing Haywire Might, so that I can uh, get rid of a Ring, which is certainly one of my opponent's best top decks here. And then I could play out the cookbook now. I'd probably find play it out now. One of Bernala. I'll say I'll say that Cauldron is definitely a card that has had me need to read a lot of cards. What is what does Renala do? Alright, so let's get in. Let's see if they have a solitude. If they do we can asmo it. Well, I'm glad that we um, attacked before minusing either of our Planeswalkers, I think. Are they still dead? They go to one, I just minus the Grist, right? Okay, GG. Yeah, not as many uh, clicks today, Diva. Very good start. Upgrade for it with Cauldron, and all of a sudden we, you know, we get to play the deck again, get to start off well with it. Just every all all of the ideas we have just tend to to build on each other. You know, it's really really cool when new card like breathes breathes life life into like an old obscure brew like this. Do kind of need to draw a land. Probably could help us out a little bit if they played an urn board. Move it on the World Cup. Never brewed Cauldron Grist first day of class. I'm 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 not gonna play first day of class. It's like it's like so much more embarrassing than just putting stupid Omnath in your deck. <laughs> or sorry, uh Yogmoth in your deck. 
You know what I mean? <laughs> I wish that I wish that, that wasn't the case. Oh wow, this is a cool turn. So we get to go discard Bloodgast. Play Saga, get back Bloodgast, and then um I can I can play Fiend Artisan or I can play Cauldron. I think I want to play the Cauldron. Could like discard the Grist next turn, maybe. Yeah, yeah, the Fire Devotion next turn is mono black. <laughs> just, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of fun how it all evolves. Yeah, it's just like, like, why, why are we playing first day of class called a Grist when we just put freaking Gogmoth in our deck instead? You know, I, I'm just not gonna do it. I think. Um, so this is something I, I've been missing a little bit. Like, you need to be targeting your coffers opponent's graveyard because they play Cling to Dust. It can be very easy to just forget about that. Okay, Field of Ruin. Um, let me see. I can't sacrifice this at instant speed in any way, right? To For the, the landfall trigger. Doesn't seem like I can. So let's just let this happen. They have a Urborg in play, so let's get Forest. And then I'm going to, well, I guess now I could go Grist plus, I'm not 100% sure this is correct, I drew Cauldron, but I think, I think we go discard, discard Fiend Artisan, Cauldron Artisan onto Bloodgast, and then sack the um, Insect Token for an Asmo. Wait. Oh. I have to tap this. Tap this. <laughs> okay. Kind of a cool line. I'm not, it could have been better to discard the, the Grist instead and get that train rolling. We can also um, go for like the Fauna Shaman for Fulminator line next turn. And I like that this line can have, uh, like, two, three power creatures in play before my opponent can play their Karn. It seems to be kind of important. Grist in play also helps play around Karn, I guess. They don't have Cling to Dust, do they? There's no chance. Yeah, I agree. It's hard to get, get figure out what's going on when Cauldron's in play. <laughs> I Yeah, maybe they have March. That's, a, that's kind of a good guess, yeah. It's kind of a hard card to cast. Thanks, Donnie. Hope you have a good day. So we got five mana now. The one ring, huh? Okay, so drew Blooming Marsh Return. So let's start off and go Agatha, Soul Cauldron, Exile, Fulminate, Fauna Shaman. Is there an extra Cauldron Grist? Yeah, if you if you exile Grist to Cauldron, your creatures get Grist loyalty abilities, and they just. They just plus. It's a little weird, but it does work. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and tap this for a mana. And then just just let that happen, I think. And we discard Oval Chase Daredevil. Fauna Shaman, Oval Chase Daredevil. Maybe I should be plussing first. Find Fulminator Mage. It's kind of interesting if we blow up the Coffers or the Urborg here. I think we go after the Urborg. It's just a pretty high chance that they're... Uh, I guess they just have a Swamp and then they still have four. Yeah, I should have got the Coffers, actually. Oops. Not a huge deal. Worst case, they have another Urborg and they have one extra mana for this turn. Uh, but I think I'm going to hold my land to recur Bloodgast. Although, I guess that with the Fetch Land in play, maybe that's not as necessary. I think it's fine. Urborg is legendary, blow up covers. Yeah, for some reason I was thinking I could mana screw them a little bit here. But it seems unlikely with them having the ring. You can sack blood to get it back. Well, yeah, I can't, um, can't f uh, fulminate this yet. You can double recur a fetch land. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Recur it again, of course. That's why I held it. Not a doctor with eight, thank you. Thank you. They're certainly in really big trouble if they, um, okay, they do have another Urborg. They have a Karn. Maybe Karn, Needle, 
cauldron? I have a mite for that. What as a counter? Because because we haven't exiled the the fulminator with the cauldron yet. So they name cauldron. Um. So I I I, I need to go. Yeah. So let's go minus. Here. Discard supplier. Get haywire might. Play Haywire Might, bring back Oval Chase Daredevil. Might as well do this. Tap four mana. Then we go Exile here. Blow up the coffers this time. Bring back the blood ghast. Play cookbook. Pass back. Probably should tap the tomb, not the fetch. You could double, double blood ghast. We, we, we can't sack blood ghast twice. We need to put a counter back on the blood ghast to sack again. We want to save the fetch land to bring back blood ghast next turn. Anonymous, stay team, thank you, thank you. TJ at the six, thank you, thank you. Kind of funny we're just like ignoring the, all the ring card draw. Maybe we can uh, hit where I might it at some point. Using Cauldron Cal 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 Might and kill ring instead of land. I feel like killing the land is better here. Like if I leave them with Cabal Coffers Urborg, they go from like five to seven mana next turn. Or like it's the difference between giving them four and seven mana next turn. And they are they have a full grip of cards basically no matter what. Um I guess I guess five they have another coffers. So Dead Grist. So the upkeep shop for children. Um I don't know that I would asthma. I guess I probably would asthma the children. Yeah, maybe maybe we, this isn't going to be good enough. If we don't kill the ring, they discard a card and they discard a ring. It's kind of bad news. Let's um, attack. Yeah, I think I think they end up beating us here. We we probably should have gone after the ring instead. Play a kind of tough spot. Yeah, I think in that spot it's it's just correct to kill coffers, but I, I messed up the first time for sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Their coffers is tough. They also like definitely have another car because they discarded the second one. Aldrin and Fiend Artisan feels like it should be a non because you're exiling your own stuff. Yeah, I mean, it combos in some ways, too. Can't you cookbook back the might? Um, I wouldn't be able to cookbook back might and activate it this turn. Maybe I, maybe I should have done that instead overall. <laughs> it does seem like my opponent is, you know, going to be pretty committed to stopping me from... Being able to cauldron anything. Yeah, that's just gonna give him two. Okay. I'm definitely bringing in the rest of the mages. The magi. Definitely want the pithy needle. I think one might is probably good. Grist is also pretty dang good against them. There's a lot of cyborg cards. You can trim daredevils. Could trim an Asbo, actually. Artisan's kind of weak against them, I think. My two suppliers, okay. Could maybe go down to a cauldron. Let's keep it in. I'm gonna keep. Not sure what we're leading on. Okay, uh, not Haywire Might. I want to be able to play it and kill that ley line. More Mites. The thing is, like, once you play the first fight, you can cauldron it for more activated abilities. Might mostly just hits ring. There's also ley line, but so yeah, maybe maybe second like might so you can like 
get it back after if he gets exiled off the ley line. I don't know. You still just have the one. Certainly seems okay. Maybe it was correct to not to wait a turn on the saga. Also. But it seems like they definitely kept a hand that was maybe on the weaker side because of because it had ley line. I think I'm gonna play Grist here. I want to get my um. I wanted to get my Pithy Needle down to ASAP. Is kind of why I want to play the Saga here. Interesting. So I guess they'll feel the ruin me here. How does this deck work without any other ways to put one counters? Cauldron puts a counter on the stuff. It's just like. It's it's not that big a deal. <laughs> Obviously, like having extra counters is nice, but it's just not mandatory in your cauldron decks. Okay, thoughts using my supplier. Plus before, just because you get blood gassed, of course. Minus. We did hit a blood gassed off the minus. I guess. So I wasn't supposed to play my land yet. Not a huge deal, maybe. We build over Fulminator and Oval Chase. Two relevant cards. Could have discarded our supplier to cookbook. Yeah, we should, sorry, we should have done that. We did that earlier, actually, against the Thoughtseize with one spell in hand, against the, uh, um, Scam player. Just a classic seven- they, they, how did they lead on Field of Ruin here? Hmm. Seven card, Leyline, Bowmaster, Thoughtseize. Pretty good, pretty good for them. Okay, fielding my second Saga. Bring back Blood Gasts. Then march my grist. Wow, very good draw from them. Thinking if I want to discard here, I think I think we will just to start the the loop. Fuel coffer Urborg, Didn't want to leave with Urborg. Mm, yeah, maybe I guess so. I think we got a lot of these in the deck, huh? So I think in this spot we kill the Urborg because they they don't just have infinite cards. Like there's a good chance that this just. Sends them back pretty far. <laughs> Obviously, if they have a backup Urborg, it's worse, but kind of the same, right? If they have backup, uh, yeah, if they have backup coffers, <laughs> we guessed correctly, <laughs> they, they still just have two mana here. Wow, Fulminator, Fulminator basically killed three lands. It's kind of kind of sick. Oh, sorry. Obviously, should attack with this. Use most of the brain power that turned on what uh, Fulminator maybe. Okay, so they get to ping my Tyvar. I like they could have attacked this turn maybe. Yeah, with the Orc army. Edict for Tyvar, Tyvar down. Okay, so let's cookbook back Grist end of turn. I'm like a little bit surprised they even have Bowmasters in against me post board. I can also get back Fulminator, kill their cottage. Seems kind of good. I mean, it, it, it turns off the coffers, so let's do it. Oh, so the turn I lose my cookbook, I draw Asmos, kind of stinks. Let's see if they end up making a block here. 
No, just going to seven. Okay, cling my tie bar. Draw a card. Okay, they, they let this oval chase Daredevil hit them for eight <laughs> instead of <laughs> blocking two turns ago. I'll take that. It was kind of holding back the one ones. We really chose a stone rain over Proactive Grist. It was great. It was a triple stone rain. It was a triple stone rain. It turned off their. It killed their cottage and killed both their coffers. It seems bold. It seemed like it was fucking. It was correct. I don't know. <laughs> it felt pretty good. We like. We also had pressure in play too. Like we have good attacks in addition to the triple stone rain. Did you have a bowmaster's deck? I thought they would cut them against me. I wonder if I should cut like my high arc or something. Fauna Shaman maybe a bit slow versus all that removal. Well, the idea is, like, if Fauna Shaman dies, you, like, call Jinder Tybar back, and it's a, a pretty important part of your engine. Oh, I should have poured out the Earth Borg. I always forget to do that against Coffers. And I see it in my hand, I'm like, oh, fuck. Is Grinning Ingus too bad a card to put in modern deck their combo with Cauldron? Um, I mean, you just have to figure out, like, why it is you we're, we're playing Grinning Ingus combo over a different combo deck, you know? There could be some, some merit. Yeah, I think I just want them to use their mana to feel the Ruin My Saga next turn. To get over his ult to Mind State? I don't know, it was also like, what was on board? It feels, it feels fine. There's like a pretty good chance like we get Grist and they just like grab a card and to bridge or something. Then I guess we could kill the card, I don't know. Was it still better to wait on the first Fulminator to kill and sack the land? They try to activate covers. No, you can't. You cannot respond to mana abilities. Still in 2023, you cannot respond to mana abilities. It access to four mana to turn they play Cottage, and did it use it? Well, that is a good point, yeah. They might not have realized they could have activated the coffers. Really just, like, not going to play this reward, probably. Um, yeah, so I think this turn we get Asmo. And then next turn we get Fulminator Mage. If it's still alive, alive of course. I think I'll play Vernon Catacombs just in case they have a Cling to Dust. Can play around a um, Cling a little bit better here. Gonna shock Overgrown Tomb because of all, they have all these Field of Ruins, of course. Kind of surprised they blocked here. Like they didn't, they weren't blocking the supplier like all last game. Guess they changed their mind. Z bug with the twenty months. Hope you're doing well. Okay, that's fine. Don't think I need to discard anything to cookbook now. We drew fulminator mage. I think that I want to this turn go. Tyvar, get back Fauna Shaman, get back Bloodgast, um, and then just leave my Fauna Shaman activation up. Decide decide what it is we want to get with this. Remember, we can activate an instance, or immediately because of Tyvar. Yeah, 20 months, cook it in the cauldron. Let's fucking go. Okay, second field of rune. Can't really Fulminator Mage if they keep up the activation. So now we're going to get a Haywire Might. Um, yeah, Mage doesn't even seem, like, super good at the moment. Might just dump it. Maybe we'll draw a cauldron later. They're gonna get to field of ruin this, I think that's okay. I 
I lifted one Fiend Artisan, right? No, I boarded them both out. Hmm. Let's just double check the deck. Could do something like get Bloodgast, or could. It could have already gotten the Bloodgast, I guess. Um, getting putting another Asma in play is kind of nice if they. Yeah, I want to. I want to have a, a threat in play here. If they play Shielded or Karn, I'm going to be kind of happy I did this. So let's do that. They've already used one Damnation, also. I'm gonna save this to discard. They have pro everything. Isn't Daredevil a great target? Yeah, I guess we could could have got Daredevil. Yeah. Got get Daredevil on tap. Part of the idea. Would have been a good line. Must milled over one of our swamps. But it, but it, it is it is also good to have Asmo for, for this purpose. Okay, they pitch a Leyland of the Void. They kill my Fauna Shaman. Okay. Um, so probably gonna be like cookbooking back stuff. Let's see what we draw. So they got two cards in their hand. Cookbook back Shaman seems fine, if not like a little unexciting. We could cookbook back Grist and play it next turn. I really want to have six power in play. I guess not. No, I, but Grist also answers card. Yes, yeah, so never mind. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll just cookbook back Grist, I think. I'd be in phase in case cling. It's probably okay. Uh, I don't think we've done Grist Under Cauldron today. Well, we, we did, but then they killed my creature in response, actually. Okay, so they're minus in. Playing and watching worlds at all? I'll like tune in a little bit. You know, it's it's certainly certainly not a format that I, you know, care about, but I care about the people playing. So am I going to Tyvar back Haywire might this turn, or do I wait to not risk a removal spell on the might. Oh my gosh. Just minus instead of plusing, I don't know. Some residual brain rot telling me that I was going to be uh, minusing the grist on the card, maybe? I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's, it's huge, though. It's hu huge punt, because like the, the ultimate was like, su like super pressuring here. Brain barely works these days. Yeah, I'm plastic tie bar so I can I can might the, the I also have grist protection from um uh uh Shielder's Edict. So they still have pro everything. Yeah, I'll just hold up the uh, cookbook activation pass back. It doesn't seem like you use the sideboard much. Yeah, I mean, that's what like any linear deck is like. You don't sideboard often until you know you run into the matchups for your sideboard cards. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, that, that, is, that is true. And like a big chunk of our sideboard is the Assassin's Trophies, which were like almost just for Tron. We didn't play against Tron at all. Can of the 25, thank you. Thank you. Cottage back Bowmasters. I would love to see that go to the top of their library. That card does not do anything here. <laughs> uh, please put that on top. They choose not to use the ability. They use a the damnation. Fair enough. So two cards left in their hand. Anything we want to get back with Cookbook. Yeah, I think I want to get back a Shaman here. Especially with the oval chase in our hand. 
Not that we're, I guess, currently doing great at, um... You know, we, 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 you know, we used our cookbook or whatever. I guess we could get a, um, we could get an Asmo off the Shaman. Oh, the Grist is interesting. I suppose I should class. Okay. Oh, I'm out of Asmos. Okay, so what if we get Bloodgast, Untap, Fauna Shaman, get another, another Bloodgast, which I'm probably okay casting next turn, or like, sorry, looting, looting away to Fauna Shaman next turn instead of um, casting it this turn, rather. Amazing Kaga Magita. Interesting username. Thank you for the uh, six months. Okay, what you got? If I if I had just not misclicked on my grist, also we would have ultimated in one, I think, or effectively want one. You did the grist. I did grist. That's right. I grist for sure. Right. I I milled the I milled the saga. So I kind of want to do this first. I guess milling blood gas would be fine. Just kind of worried about milling action since I don't have that much action left in the deck. Okay. I like that we put ourselves in a spot where like land is bringing back two hasty blood gas. I like that we took him off the mana. Okay, feels good that the, the grist misclicked and it like cost us too much. Feels good to be three and zero. Oh. When it was a little weird, can I explain my? Can I explain myself? Yeah, like uh, it's good to cauldron sometimes. <laughs> I wanted I wanted one more land and I was like, well, what if instead of that one land, uh, I play a high arc and. It, you know, is good in your opening hand, and sometimes it is also going to allow you to have have powerful games where you, like, can, like, tap things for mana in addition to, like, sacking them and stuff. So, not, not, not like, a huge thing, but mostly just think of the first copy of it is better, better, better than the land. I'm going to read too much into it. Um, Fauna Shaman, incredible here. We just, we just get to do the loop and... Kind of have the one of uh, the perfect hand against them if they don't have dismember, but if they do have dismember with cauldron. Oh, that doesn't seem like they are mono green tron, or I guess mono green tron does play Urza Saga, but they don't usually keep a hand like this. So yeah, they are dice factory instead. So looks like we might need to haywire might instead here, but that'll be okay. So discard Bloodgast. Get Haywire Might. Cast Haywire Might. Cast Asmo. Yeah, I'd consider Dried Arbor. You, you can play Dried Arbor. I'm not strong enough. I guess we do kind of have to main phase this, right? Because if they go tap, target this, I sack, then they sack this, they get two mana. I guess it's also bad if they just have another mana battery. It's, but it's, it's, I think I just go for, do it now. How does it feel to play against so many decks you created and improved upon? Feels normal. <laughs> Feels normal. Uh, Dry River does work with Cauldron, yeah. They do have another mana battery. It's a pretty big problem. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I could have just chilled. I don't know. I play a lot of the AK deck. A lot of times you just don't have a second mana battery. Although, th this this has been kind of like... Uh, there's been a build that's like more Tron focused. It doesn't play... like It plays like one key instead of the, the more keys. I think it's interesting. I think keys are so good in the deck, but... 
It's been it's been popping off. Okay. So killing the ring seems like big priority. Kind of in bad shape. Um Let's see. Exile core type look better. You can't. How many every day of my life I have to yell at chat? You cannot exile creatures with freaking haywire of mine. <laughs> Still not a legal play, y'all. <laughs> yeah, and I think. Yeah, I, I do this so I can activate Asma next turn. I can still two drop Fulminator and activate it next turn. Yeah, they're 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 more in on the the Paradox Engine instead of Keys, which which is interesting. Why not attacking first? They have protection from everything. Although I don't know, this could this could be um, this could be like the more key focus build, of course. We'll see. Smallpox in this deck? No, we have way too many creatures for this to be a smallpox deck. They play just one key as a target. The list that have been popping around late, lately. This could this could just be like the last eight key deck I played. Like there hasn't been any any difference, but that the other list has been more popular for sure. Implement a ferocity as a saga target. Seems like too weak to include. Quite like a fun idea. I actually know what that card does though. <laughs> Funny enough. Man, very impressive draw from them. I do you think I messed up probably with the Haywire Might? I was just trying to keep them off Karn that turn. Paradox Engine is lethal. Well they need they need um another spell in their hand for Paradox Engine to be lethal. Um But it's it it's it or yeah, it it should be though. Like they, they go minus engine, um cast engine, and then they have two mana left to play any spell. That spell will give them seven mana. Um, which could allow them to sack the Inventor's Fair, and then I guess I guess you, I guess you're one mana short of playing the Ring. You're one mana short of playing the Ring um, if your spell costs two mana. So if they need they need a one or zero mana spell in their hand, I think to like for sure win with the Ring this turn. No room for Bowmaster. I yeah I had a hard time including Orcish Bowmaster. I had at one point a build of the deck that was not playing Fauna Shaman and looks and like was playing like. It was like this with like Bowmaster, um, but like one th like I really wanted to play Unearth, um, and I just like couldn't fit Unearth into that shelf. Like you really wanted Unearth in that shell, that shell could still be fine, you know. How good a supplier? And this deck supplier is really good. Um, I think it's also like. We got mana curve considerations too, you know what I mean? Like we have currently uh, 10 2 drops. Like I think adding four more 2 drops is, I'll say it, too many 2 drops. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go ahead and say it. Um, we could have one Bowmaster as a Fauna Shaman target, maybe. We get Ensnaring Bridge. Play Serum Powder. Fucking Serum Powder. I'm honestly like a little annoyed that <laughs> the Serum Powder list is the stock list and not my my deck. <laughs> if they can't play a card though, I get to kill the Fauna Shaman or the card with the Fauna Shaman though. Shout out to Ignoble Hierarch. Definitely important to get them off of like <laughs> seven mana there. Iron Apprentice. I, I know what Iron Apprentice does. It, it is it is kind of interesting, I agree. If 
At least we could put plus one counters on, so <laughs> I guess that'd be pretty good, huh? Shouldn't we shouldn't we not exile their artifacts so it could become Karn relevant? I mean, I would be very surprised if Karn for Core Tapper was relevant this game, but and like 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 I would rather like shouldn't we not exile our blood gas? You know what I mean? I think that that's way more relevant. Would love to draw a land here. I could kill the Saga and kill the Mystic Forge. Got my wish. I think Killing Saga is a bit better than Inventor's Fair at the moment. I know we can attack with Ignoble, but um, it was to read all of our mana accounted for. Singleton, Spring, Trim Blue, it'd be crazy to proc Blood Gas. Uh, can you remind me what that card does? Another Saga. But it might be able to overpower, you know, just one activation turn. Drawing a lot of cards off the ring here. Arbiter with the 45 months. Thank you, thank you. Welcome back. Okay, so let's go. Bring back Bloodgast. Counter the Bloodgast again. Kill the Mites. Put a Grist into play. They have pro everything, no attacking. Why didn't you use the fauna? Why didn't you fauna the blood gas before sacking it? You can't di you, the blood gas that was in play. I'm confused. You can only dis you can only fauna shaman things from your hand. Plays deck really wants some creatures to even see the counters. I mean, I know we're certainly feeling that right now when we're up against the <laughs> this kind this deck specifically. I think for the most part, like one stone rain, one haywire might activation every turn is fine. I I would certainly be open to to hearing you know how how exactly we change the deck, but um feels kind of tough to like make a lot of decisions based on this kind of matchup too. Uh, Ravager would not be good in this deck. You have, like, no artifact creatures. <laughs> or almost no artifact creatures. Mill the Blood Gas. What are we killing here? Might actually have to be Inventor's Fair. We're having next time to get a look at Excavation? I mean, yeah, I guess. This is a weird game, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know that we're really supposed to read too much into board states like this. Land where we're born. I don't know. It's just like when people want people want to counter speed and everything, and they just want to play like the worst cards you've ever seen in your entire life. It's just for games like this. I think it's just fine. Can you power up Grist with the battery? Uh, no. All win cons with the AT Musk. Thank you.
All right, attack for two. Maybe could have been going after bridge here. I mean, the, the Avengers Fair is like so dangerous this turn though. Now that they are kind of back up to having a good amount of mana. Could have been a reason to go after the Cornucopia maybe. I think they, you know, they only have a couple cards in their hand. Maybe just trying to hope they don't have a big payoff is fine. Yeah, Micaeus would be kind of nice for these kind of games though, yeah. Could play Micaeus. I'm not playing Ballista. I could play Ballista. There's a lot of options. Yes, yeah, so they got a ton of mana. Do they have anything to do with their ton of mana? Very surprised that they made a construct into the Asmo. Probably means they don't have much going on. Guess we don't need to kill it yet. Well, we can use if we just kill it on bridge first. We only have to use two foods, I suppose. Um, basically, never minusing. Let's think here. Plus Chris first, I suppose. Point it. Okay, we're just doing stuff to IRL. So I think I'm going to discard Asmo and get um, Fiend Artisan. Because it's a kind of a beefy creature for me to be attacking with. So I'm just going to go after their, um, their bridge now. Because it doesn't seem like they have a payoff in their hand at the moment. And you know they could have one on the top of their library. But their deck also has a lot of Serum Powders and, and, and other cards that don't do very much. Uh... Actually, it'd be good to get a uh, supplier to. We're gonna get that next turn to grow the Fiend Artisan, maybe. Yeah, long game one. BP44, it'll be bigger. They'll be like, we can get it like 7, 7, 8, 8 next turn. Like, we just are gonna eat. We, we have lethal, we have lethal. Although, they've, they've drawn something, which stinks. Was not very good against it. I mean, this could be just Ever Flowing Chalice, I guess. Yeah, it seems like it was just Ever Flowing Chalice. Elvish Archivist, one of these food based cauldron decks. Um. I mean, we would put Archivist in, like, the scales, Aetherfile Shell. I mean, I don't, I don't think it makes a lot of sense in this specific build. Could you play it in another build? Maybe, sure. All right, so let's get uh, Supplier. Yeah, beefy 4-4, four, four, ha, ha. <laughs> seven, 7-7 seven now. Six creatures in the yard. What a game. <laughs> what a game. Another thing, too, about the whole, like, oh, we need to be able to, like, sack our board all at once. Like, you just have so many sideboard cards in these matchups, too. It just feels like overkill. Trim and Asmo. Trim to Daredevil. Maybe Trim a Cauldron. So many cyber cards. Um, I got a Haywire. Might the card's really, really good against them. Let's just keep training grounds with Cauldron. People love to like 
send me like these super half cooked ideas like training grounds cauldron in general training grounds is a super weak card and it's not a card i would be very happy to register in general i have no idea like what card in combination with cauldron goes with it if you have something for me i'll take a closer look but this is this is this the, the idea in general is just super under un, uncooked you know I, I don't have any don't have any ideas for you at the moment Uh, you you could play Dryad Arbor over um, over Hierarch if you felt like it was that was better. Very raw idea, yeah, for sure. My opponent not sacking the maps; they just have Natty Tron. You know, if they have Natty Tron plus Karn, probably probably gonna have a hard time beating that. They, they do have Daddy Tron plus Karn. We get to F6 at least. So they'll probably trade Haywire Might for Core Tapper if we make that attack. Seems like I'm just going to do it. They can Tyvar, get back Asmo, or Haywire Might if I don't find something better. Not, you know, fantastic turn. I've got Saga for Needle or Might next turn, potentially. We'll see how, how good their comeback is. Okay, so I milled over Oval Chase, Daredevil, Fiend, Artisan, Haywire, Might. I guess I could get the Artisan. Hmm. Let me think it out. So Might gives me... The, Might puts the Oval Chase, Daredevil back in my hand. Hierarch, Hierarch gives me one extra mana this turn, actually, but I can't use the mana on anything. Would give me an extra mana next turn, which could be relevant. Actually, two extra mana because I can untap it with the Hierarch. Um, if I get the Fiend Artisan, I could like sack Blood Gas for three mana, get a Fulminator Mage, untap the Fiend Artisan, attack. I'm gonna put the Artisan into play and not not feel super convinced that it was it's correct. Why would they sack map? Uh, well, they, they, I think they're, they, they don't want to sack map because they have plenty of mana, and they're not sure if they want to get a uh, Inventor's Fair or Urza Saga yet. If they felt confident that they would want to get one of those two, they could they'd go ahead and do it. Lucy, did you open the door? Someone opened the door. Cityscape Leveler. Can I beat a leveler? Let's me activate my Saga a bit easier. I can, attack, I can kill the Karn, which is kind of a big deal. I guess I can't activate the Saga because I won't be killing this first. We do have Lucy. Hello, Lucy. I'll get the Lucy cam up in a second. If you want to needle their, their maps, right? So if they skip the leveler next turn, not really sure what they even go after, not super worried about it. Lucy has just been the cutest ever lately. Okay, so they are unearthing. They are unearthing. So they can like kill 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 one of my planeswalkers, attack the other one, but that doesn't unlock their needle or the the maps. So they are going after the needle, and then they're attacking my Tyvar. Can't protect it. Goodbye, Tyvar. You served us well. So maybe they'll get a, a soggy here. They're not getting a saga. Did they already play their land? They already played their land, actually. Probably a mis mistake to play their land, to be honest. 
I did play an Omen. I did. I did play. I had an Omen Hawker deck where you had like you had like Urza Saga for the Omen Hawker mana. You had Step Through. Um, you had Thopter Sword combo. H had a lot of um, had a lot of like synergy with it. It was kind of cool. Kind of nice that that's free to play. So we get to go. Cookbook discard Bloodgast. Uh, sorry, I should have. Uh, I, I still will. I didn't actually make a mistake yet. But I'm gonna plus the grist. See if I mill over another blood gas, then crack the fetch. I always love when your power stones actually have text. We get to go Asmo, Cookbook, Fauna Shaman. What are we getting a Lucy emote? There is a Lucy emote. Yeah, we're 17 and 6 with the mono blue deck at the moment. There are two Lucy emotes. <laughs> Kill supplier with Asmo? Why? Just in case we mill a blood gas, I might just like leave it in play. <laughs> I think. We played mono blue base all day the last couple days. Not gonna play it today, no. Okay, so we have Gris to take kill the Karn, thankfully. Lucy's favorite deck is anything with scrap work mutt. Because that's who she is. I might play the mono blue deck in the challenge tomorrow. I'm still undecided if I'm streaming the challenge tomorrow. I know I'm not gonna play my RCQ tomorrow. It's just it's just it starts too late. Leveler. They're targeting the shaman, okay, interesting. That would not have been my guess. So I probably want to like attack the attack the Karn here, kill kill it like without ooh. Is this ever gonna change anything? Not really, because I, I want to be able to kill the um I want to be able to kill the the Karn with Asmo in their or the the city sorry, the cityscape leveler with Asmo in the beginning of their combat step so they can't kill anything next turn. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck! I didn't attack with I, I didn't attack with enough creatures. Oh no! So it's it's, it's I don't like it. I have to I have to catch my grist. This is a big big punt. Yeah, Lucy punt. But then I can go. I can get back Fiend Artisan, and then I can activate Fiend Artisan with the with the. Uh, um, Power Stone tokens, so I could get like a Fauna Shaman in play. We're gonna do this now before the Blessing comes up. Ever been into Standard much? Yeah, I think every every like competitive Magic player has has been into Standard at one point or another. I haven't been into Standard much lately. I've been watching Arnie stream some stream a little bit of Standard in the morning sometimes and. I, I watch Amy play standard sometimes, but I, I just don't really know what's going on. I don't think I've caught a Gab standard stream yet, but I'm sure I'm sure there's some good stuff going on. Just hard to keep up when I'm as into modern as I am. But like I really RTR Innistrad standard was my, like my favorite standard ever. I liked all, basically all of the Kaladesh standard. As long as I was able to torrential gear Hulk, I was happy. Why do we activate Artisan for something? We still can. Why do why activate now? There's no rush. We still can. Oh, this is only as a sorcery. Okay. Oops. Never mind. <laughs> is I, I could have swore I've activated instant speed before. I feel like I've been Mandela affected here. All right. Two mistakes last turn then. Remember, you could use Pirates of the Payback Artisan. I know. I just said that, and I. I didn't realize that um, Artisan is only as a sorcery, so I was trying to do it on uh, their turn. Yeah, paper only play. Really fumbled this <laughs> this turn a bad. So they take up the blast zone to two. I can put them to one at the moment. Or I can put them to zero. Just discard a daredevil, actually. 
Um, I suppose it's just like it's just correct for me to fiend artisan first here, right? Because I can. Okay. Because I can get fulminator, which like keeps the artisan the same size, and I can untap the the artisan too. I'm trying to think, is there anything I so I can get? I can sack this, get Fulminator Mage, untap, and then I'm I'm still just hitting them for 14. Is it as a sorcery? I can still activate it as a, I'm I can I will have priority for a sorcery on my turn. I don't have another Grist in the deck at the moment. I think. Yeah, I think I just Fulminator. And then I probably leave the Daredevil. I keep the Daredevil in my hand at this point. Since I I have them on a two turn clock anyways. Okay. They think they were dead? Maybe they thought they were dead, because they have like they have leveler actually, they have a ton of outs. <laughs> okay, uh let's get a five oh prediction going. First league. Cauldron decks still doing well. We've trophy, we've trophy like twice with this like shell in the past two before Cauldron. Definitely a deck I've liked before. I'm sorry I stopped petting you, Lucy. I'm sorry. Fira. Probably gonna keep. We did we did beat four color. We played against four color, scam, mono black, and then dice factory. Okay, don't mind this pending. Oh, fucking, you're kidding me, dude! I even like turned off, I, I thought that that might happen, so I turned off the auto yields. Just, just skip in the turn, it's okay. Sometimes you just skip the turn. Seems like I should play land too. Yeah, there is, I don't know if it's obvious, but there is like, there's sometimes lag on Magic Online where you yield and then nothing happens because it's lagging. So you click yield again because you weren't sure if the input happened. Then it all catches up and it skips two turns. And it's, you know, it's tough when it happens, dude. Okay, let's play a cauldron. Yeah, like like skipping your turn two against four color in this kind of matchup is just nauseating. So they can't play Rin and Six after this. We still go after a fetch land of theirs, I guess. I mean, they only have two cards left, now three cards, I suppose, but. Could win still. Only coping a little bit. Chroma, 16 months, good thank you, welcome back. Sometimes lag, I've never seen a number register click. Yeah, I, I agree, but it's sometimes you like you just miss like with your mouse sometimes. Like you go yield yield uh yield through the turn and you're like not sure if it happened. Curb the 45, welcome back. Thank you, thank you for your continued support. The Black Tutor with Undergrowth. Uh, that card is awful, I think. Like, Eladomri's Call isn't a good card. Why is that card? Why do people think that that card that, like, requires, like, it's like Eladomri's Call with setup is that card. Why do, I, why do people put it in their decks? I've never really understood. I 
I just want it to be good. Yeah, I think people want it to be good, for sure. But I just, I don't, I just don't understand the, the thought process behind that card making it into a deck. No, I'm not uh, talking about Fiendars. <laughs> well, Fiendars and, like, you get to Cauldron it, you get to Tyvar it back. It's, like, big, beefy creature, too. It's, like, a one-of in the four-color boards. Yeah, but it shouldn't... Eldermas Call should, just should not be in four-color, is, is, is my opinion, to be it, but... Eh, that's, like, the only five-drop we can beat here. Yeah, Mausoleum Secrets. Search your library for a black card with mana value less than or equal to the number of creatures in your yard. Reveal it, put in your hand, and shuffle. Like, you're just gonna not have Stitcher Supplier and... <laughs> Saga, please. <laughs> you're not gonna have Stitcher Supplier in your opening hand, and then, like, this will be your two-drop sometimes. I'm like, oh, this is blank. Oh, wait, oh, no, it's not, because it always gets Asmo. Okay, that's kind of fun. But, like, like it's still it's still Eldarmy's Call with setup. I'm not, I'm not excited about the card, y'all. You know, what's kind of funny is, like, we have not drawn a third land this game, but they just keep bouncing my Saga, so we keep hitting our land drops. Better remainder you could grab Gorios or non-creature. Yeah, in Gorios, like, it's a bit better where... But, like, you also have, like, a lot less creatures in the Gorios deck. Like, getting up to five creatures is not... Like a super easy thing to do. Okay, let's just gain an extra life here, I think. Cookbook discarding blood cuts first. The problem is I can't cookbook first and play Saga first. Because, you know, I don't have the colored mana requirements. But in general, yeah, you want to try to do that. It'd be a fun game to win. Oh, there go my dreams of winning. I guess that's a reason to not exile the... I mean, I have another cauldron, but... Probably should have exiled the shaman, because I have two shamans and only one might. Turn 8. Still no land. That's okay. Lands are uh, cringe, actually. I got a plan, I don't know. <laughs> Very fun game. You only need two creatures for Goros. Yeah, two creatures in your Goros deck? When is the, you? It's never happening on turn two, you know? Like, <laughs> like people say, oh, you only need two creatures. Two creatures in the Goros deck? You're, this is like when you've evoked twice. What are we talking about? When you've already looted something into the yard. It's two, it's, it's a lot. If your deck is full of like these non-creature spells. Yeah, street like oh we gotta register street wraith. It just it, the card sucks, y'all. It's the card sucks. Of course I milled my stupid springleaf drum. That's so annoying. I cannot overstate how annoying it is that I milled the springleaf drum there. Shit, dude. Yeah, taking some psychic damage for sure, Z's. Master Mike, 20 months, thank you. Draw, if we can mill or draw Oval Chase Daredevil here, we're like, we're alive. We missed. I guess I could just discard my hand. Yeah, we're 20... I guess we did mill over an Urza Saga at some point. Okay. We put up a good fight. No, wait. No, no sorry. We, we did not put up a good fight. We put up a fight. Okay, so on the play... 
I, I, we tried the four of Fulminator Mage plan last time in the matchup. We did win, but I don't actually think I want... I think I just want one. They're a written six deck, you know. Something like this. Could play a second Might, but, you know, the first Might is often good enough because you can Cauldron them afterwards. Let's, uh, let's submit this, I think, this time. Okay, put us in the tank here. Hard matchup to mulligan in. What is the next trophy race? I don't know. I'm going to do a trophy sprint at some point this year towards winter time. Um, as many trophies as I can get in one week. I think I'm unlikely to regular trophy race anytime soon. If they're going up to 60 card, 9 cards, maybe a Fulminator better. I think it's just like not an incredible plan against the Ridden 6 deck in general, and you still have like your tutor for it plan too. Trophy race after image 3. You you do not want a trophy race after image 3. You want me to be brewing. I, I think one thing what people don't realize is like the stream when I'm trophy racing is not the stream when I'm brewing. Like I, I, I like still try to brew a little bit, but I mostly am just grinding the decks I think have the highest win percentage. There's not really time to be like innovating and doing stuff. I enjoy innovating a lot more, and I also think like the stream is a lot more productive when I'm innovating instead. So like I just I just would rather focus on it. I'm gonna play the cauldron here so I can stop Ren and Six from getting fetch lands back. Obviously hate drawing a land here. But after image like right after image three at least would be the worst time to do a trophy race. I would I like need to be in brew mode. When does image three drop? Um, next summer. Hard to believe Modern Horizons two came out last week. They're already coming out with image three. You can just slam the grist here. Pending. Kind of unfortunate. Flooding this badly is also kind of unfortunate. And it feels extra bad after like <laughs> just not drawing a second land all game two. Or all game one. Or third land, third land. What do I see of image three? I, I don't know. It's like I, I want to see cool new cards to brew with. I, do, I don't really care very much about old cards that we already have seen. I, I'm not... I want to see new cards, and that's that's all I really care about. Mistville Plains, huh? Do you count Lord of the Rings as a mage 2.5? Lord of the Rings is Lord of the Rings. If you count it as MH 2.5, it doesn't matter. It's It just is what it is, no matter what. They have March? I mean, that's better. That's a lot better for me than them having Binding, I guess. But I'm still pretty behind. It's a very time reveler. I could name the One Ring. Let's name the One Ring. Like, I, I just want new, interesting, well-designed cards. Like, like you know, just like every freaking Magic set. <laughs> it's not really any different. Except it's going to be more hype. The, yeah, apparently the new holiday set has some modern legal cards. Um, one of them, at least, is kind of interesting. Okay, so Kahira in hand. Can I draw anything relevant? Uh, that's relevant. Hopefully. I'm going to minus. Oh, and I sorry, I should have definitely played Swamp so I could maybe double Shivana Shaman. Doesn't seem super likely I could do that, I guess. So I did hit a, a creature to put into play. Yeah, I guess I guess we're not gonna be able to get a creature to our hand off the Tyvar, really. This would be a really funny game to win. Their hand is Kahira, three mystery cards. 
If you only have, if you only have two spells, guys, for Mono Blue College, or what I put instead, more zero cost creatures. Yeah, I wouldn't hate like just playing a couple of midmites till I got the rest of the spell skites. I need to buy some spell skites actually. Or maybe I actually I don't actually actually I don't know if I have spell skites or not. I have to do some digging. I might have some. Um. Okay, Bing's the Tyvar, sure. So they're gonna trade something with you here. I go to two. I've drawn another land. Your turn. <laughs> I I don't know. So they're going to one. How many magic cards do I? Have? A lot. I don't know. I definitely not not more than a hundred thousand. I I give away a lot of cards. Or I, like don't keep the bulk. Okay, well, that is needled, so it's not so bad here. They have one mystery card. Those buy them a turn. I did not consult on MH3. I I was offered to work on a set <laughs> after the last consulting I did, and I. But they, they 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 wanted me to come to for whatever set it was. Uh, <laughs> I cannot believe we won this game. They wanted me to uh, go to Seattle and like I would also like I would have to be streaming in a different time slot from a hotel room. Um, either like I would either be away from Esther and the dogs or the dogs. It was just it was just gonna be like too much. I think as cool of an opportunity as it would have been. It was, uh, I think, great for me to not take him up on it. I think I'll bring in this. Like, I might on the draw. Okay, well, hopefully you can have a good draw this game, but we're certainly happy to win that game where we get super flooded. Could you not do it remote? It was, yeah, it was not an option that time to do it remote. I did it remote for the, uh, um, Lord of the Rings and the Assassin's Creed ones. But, but that was kind of, like, back during COVID era more so. For how long? It was like it was gonna be a while. I can't I can't remember how long, but a while for sure. I'll play the might turn one. Cowards can't block warriors. Talk about the project as we're going to comes out. I have. I was talking about the Modern Horizons three. I know nothing more than what I've just told you because I I said no. Yeah, I also yeah. There's a, there's like an Assassin's Creed set. Uh, it's coming out next year too, I think. Oh, they didn't kill my might. Interesting. Is that a leak? No, I've said that before. I um, I I didn't know if like Can Canister said it in his video that he consulted for Assassin's Creed, so I was like, okay, I guess I can say it too. When he was talking, when when he was doing his uh, Lord of the Rings consulting video, he he talked about it, so. And then, and then also like 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 Mason's talking about how he consulted for MH three. I feel like I just like did we just not have to be that secretive about it? I don't know. <laughs> like I I, well, I got to go ahead to talk about um to talk about me being in Lord of the Rings when um or me consulting on Lord of the Rings when the first spoilers started. I don't know. Okay. I think I just am still minusing the tie bar. Kind of hoping for the best. Not getting the best. Yeah, the Assassin's Creed set is like Lord of the Rings. It's it's small though. It the set this is something that they've already said too. The set is the set is like it's much smaller than your average standard set. I can't remember how big it is, but it's like it's bi it's bigger than Aftermath, but it's smaller than a regular standard set, from what I can remember. Which is also something they've they've, they've said publicly. Yeah, maybe one day I'll get another spoiler card. It honestly kind of sucked I didn't get a Lord of the Rings spoiler card, but whatever. I think the people who manage the spoiler card list are you know not really in sync with like the play design team or anything. I think Assassin's Creed will not be standard legal, but I bet they put it on Arena. What Lord of the Rings card would I have wanted to spoil? Hmm. 
Not the One Ring. <laughs> Not the One Ring. Oh, um, Lost, Lost to Legend. Lost to Legend. I, I suggested changing Lost to Legend to say Historic Permanent on it, and, and that was, like, I thought, like, a, one of the better suggestions I made for, from the, uh, consulting process, and it, it used to say, um, I think, Legendary Creature or Artifact. I think Historic is, like, pretty flavorful while also letting you... Although, although they ended up... I wanted it to be Historic so we could hit Urza Saga, but now it's Dawnland Historic. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I don't know. But st still, that, that one's definitely uh, one that I like. Do you find it interesting you've been involved in consulting, but not really as much Watsy stuff? Do I find it interesting? Uh, I don't know if I say I find it interesting. I I don't know. I mean, like I I, the, I I don't. I've never really like made much of an effort to be very involved in the social media wizards nonsense stuff. It's just like it's just kind of a waste of time. I think. Like as far as I can tell, getting a preview card doesn't really bring attention to your Twitch channel, your YouTube channel, your twi your Twitter account. It just doesn't. This doesn't do anything. <laughs> like people, people just look at the card and leave. Oh, we bricked. Uh, uh, man, this has been like the most embarrassing game we've had. So it's so like I I don't know. I mean, I when I got preview cards, I did like a YouTube video for them, but it's just not that big. I don't really care that I don't get preview cards. Yeah, Cauldron might be good in goblins. We we're kind of talking about that recently. Like the, like, the MTG Ambassador stuff, too. Like, I didn't, like... It's, like, you have to, like... You have, you get a lot of free product, which is cool, but you also have to, like... Your image online becomes just, like... Woohoo, Wizards gave me product! Who wants some product? I'm gonna give it away! And you just have, like, so many tweets like that. It's just, like... Just boring, I guess. Well, they didn't kill my Tyvar yet. It's okay. Like, no shade or anything. I just think it's, you know, mostly not for me. Can we, like... Uh, my draws have been so bad this match. I think I'm packing it in, y'all. <laughs> what are we doing? World Watch Party? Yeah, I don't... Is the world... Has Worlds started yet? Let's check in and see if Worlds has started. Yeah.